What's going on there, YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is Mac Madness Monday. Now, the application we're going to be talking about today is reverse scrolling. It's a very basic but robust application that does its job marvelously. Now, as many, if not all of you know, Apple is releasing 10.7 Lion this summer. Now, the point of Lion uh, as an OS is to kind of revolutionize the way we compute. It's supposed to take the power and the speed and the application support of OS X and take the elegance and usability of iOS. It kind of meshes the two together, as we can see with Launchpad and Mission Control and a bunch of other new features in OS 10.7 Lion. The problem is OS 10.7 Lion doesn't come out till this summer, and there's a few features that by default are pretty weird. So reverse scrolling is one of them. Now you can disable this in iOS 10.7 Lion. I mean, you can get rid of this if you decide, no, I want the old way back. But the new way, once you try it for about 24 to 48 hours, uh, you'll swear you won't go back, I promise. I mean, it's way better. And it's actually what the iPhone integrates. Now, if we take a look at the iPhone and we uh, open it up here, it's a very, very basic, uh, you know, it's a, it just feels natural. When we scroll down, the page actually scrolls up. And when we scroll up, the page actually scrolls down. It's inverted or reverse scrolling. Now, we don't think much of it. And this is the way the iPhone has been since day one in 2007. They haven't changed it. And it's just a really elegant, natural way. I mean, if you think, if you think mechanically, physically, if you're to flick a paper downwards, it moves upwards. I mean, that's just how it works. And so, you know, that's kind of how that works and how, you know, how iOS has always been implemented. They never changed that for Macintosh OS X until now uh, in 10.7. But you can prepare yourself for 10.7 by using reverse scrolling. So we're going to show you a little demo here. Let's go to cultofmac.com. Great website for news and all that other stuff. So if we take, uh, right now, reverse scrolling is disabled. Uh, first of all, reverse scrolling is a free application from uh, a great developer, uh, Pilot Moon Software. You know, it's a very, very basic application. It doesn't run in the dock. It just runs in your menu bar. And it takes very, 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 very little CPU. Uh, you won't even notice it's there. So what we do right now is we scroll down and the page scrolls down. We scroll up and the page scrolls up. This is regular scrolling. Now with 10.7, you'll get reverse scrolling. It's very weird at first. When you scroll down, the page actually moves up. And when you scroll up, the page moves down. But again, think of it physically. It, that's actually how it would work in real life. And that's how iOS, again, has been from day one. 2007, you know, so this is where the Macintosh finally gets in line with uh, iOS. It's really weird at first. It's very bizarre. I didn't like it at first at all. I was tempted to get rid of this little reverse scrolling application. But if you try it for about three to four days, I can promise, I can promise you that you're not going to want to go back. It's an absolutely fantastic application that's very basic. It's free to download, and the link is down below. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy your bass-ackward scrolling. And as always, stay snazzy. Thank you so much, and see you later, folks.